My name is Dave Rosario, guys. I'm a content producer here at Galpin Auto Sports, Galpin Motors. I love being here. I'm excited to see what's gonna come from all of this. What's gonna be what we're gonna be able to show you guys in the world of automotive culture in SoCal. Galpin's been around for so long, as some of you guys know, and we're very excited to see what's to come. Check it out. There, Angel Stadium, fabulous Ford show, representing for Galpin Auto Sports. Yeah. Well, how long are we gonna be here today? What cars do we have showing here today? We have a Ford GT that's specced out of matte black with silver stripes. We've uh, wrapped the entire vehicle in paint protection film. For the matte sections, we've kept it matte. For the gloss section, we've used gloss paint protection film. We have a GT350 that we've uh, wrapped. It's been uh, lowered, wheels and tires have been done, amongst other things. We have a 1970 GT500 that we've restored fully. Um, it was painted a different color. We put it back to the original color. We have the all new Ranger behind me. This is something that we're super excited about. Brand new Ranger. We went ahead and picked one up. We went ahead and did wheels and tires on it. We did a leveling kit. We did fenders. We did custom graphics. Uh, this thing looks badass. Up front we have a Raptor Ranger grill from the uh, European and Asian market. ATD front and rear bumpers, rigid light bar. This thing is a blast to drive, and I think the customers will love it once they get their hands on it. Woo! Come back over around over here. We have two other special cars with us today. We have a yeah. RTR F-150 and an RTR Mustang. The cool thing and unique thing about this F-150 is that it's serial number 02. What that means is serial number 02 is this is the second vehicle ever made. The very first vehicle is owned by Von Ginn, the gentleman who owns the brand. This one's the very first one available for public sale. F-150 XLT we took. We have wheels, tires, Fox 2.0 uh, shocks on it. We have fender flares, all the badging. The front grille is the most distinct thing that you're gonna see when it's coming at you. Uh, and then we have uh, all the serialized plaques on it as well. So this is a cool car that you could own and be the very first one. So come get it at Galpin Ford. Over here we have the RTR Mustang Spec 2. We did this one on a red Mustang GT. We started that as a base package. We added the wheels and tires. We added suspension. We added the RTR graphics, uh, front chin spoiler. The front grille is the most iconic thing with these RTR packages. You can't miss it coming down the road. Next over, it's our 2018 SEMA Mustang uh, that we did. Uh, we did a complete custom wide body, 1221 wheels, Toyo tires, Brembo brakes, uh, Roush, Ford Performance Roush Supercharger. And then next to it, we have our Mustang Rocket, which is our unique vehicle that we built custom to Galpin Autosport. Henrik Fisker designed it. Uh, we have a complete composite wide body kit, Whipple Supercharged, putting out some massive power. You guys gotta check it out. Next to this is a goodie, oldie but a goodie we've had. It's a Boss 302, and we call it the Boss 302X. Why? Because it's just crazy. It's a wide body, all done in metal. It's supercharged with a Whipple Supercharger, putting out over 800 horsepower to the floor. You guys gotta go for a ride in that, it's insane. And next to that, we have our friends from over at Steeda. They brought the Bullet Mustang, the all new Bullet Mustang. And we teamed up with them. We have a bunch of suspension mods on that car. We have a Ford Performance Roush Supercharger on that car. These packages are available, so if you buy a Bullet and want us to galvanize it, come on down and we'll take care of you as well. That's enough talk for me, guys. Let's go check out the show and let's see some cool cars. Ford Expedition. We went again, we galvanized. We did a level lift kit on it. We put some Toyo Open Country RT tires on it. We put some fuel wheels. We did some custom graphics to kind of set it apart. And this is an awesome family hauler. If you want to be able to take your family in it and go off-roading and towing and stuff, this is the car for you. Celine guys showing out today with their Black Label 800 horsepower supercharged. Saline 302. Huh, this thing's been driven. As it should be. Every car should be driven, you guys. Every car needs to be driven. Friends from Nero showing out today. Coming forth. Ford Focus, look at that. These TSW wheels. Center lock wheels because race car.
we have here is a prime example of options, guys. We got options in life. You always got options in life. You got your highs and you got your lows. Sometimes you want a bit of the low life. Sometimes you want a little bit of the high life. Either way, do it in a Ford. How you feeling, man? How's fabulous Ford's looking? It's looking wonderful. Look at the turnout. There's a lot of people here. Uh, the show's going really well. I think it's better that it's out here at Angel Stadium now as opposed to not. I'm looking forward to walking around. Yeah. Tommy, what are some really cool cars to look out for while we're out here? So we are looking for, I know uh, there's a bunch of Ford GTs, which are always awesome to look at. The all new GT500 is out. I'm actually dying to look at it myself. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, how the just how the car stands. You know, uh, pictures are one thing, but when you see it in real life, it's a completely different thing. You got a couple uh, old school Ford GTs, and GT40s, some Cobras, and some classic original GT350s and GT500s. You guys can see here man i just spoke with the guys from sagala this is their rr wide body kit this thing is ridiculous down to the carbon fiber compositing it looks like your gt setup this looks like a gt racing car i would love to hear and see this thing rolling joe what's up man i see you here with the steve mcqueen edition mustang let me know what we're doing here man what's going on here so basically what we do with this car it becomes a steve mcqueen edition which is basically about 30 upgrades to the car of those upgrades about 14 are in suspension so we built a great platform a nice uh, foundation to the car that allows us to then start adding uh performance enhancements in the engine and horsepower area so this car gets a full G-Track suspension, which is Steeda's G-Track suspension. It's all American made, it's guaranteed for life. Something you don't see in the industry. Who out there takes their performance suspension and guarantees it for life? Steeda does. And uh, so it has a G-Track suspension front to nose. We go under the hood and we do two, of, two different options. One is a uh, supercharged a three liter Whipple supercharger, which produces 775 horse. The other is a natural aspirated 550 horse version. We do things uh, like the wheels. The wheels are a one-off uh, design. These are wheels that we designed from scratch. We didn't, um, we didn't, we didn't start with a, a wheel blank because a wheel blank would have given us limitations. We started with a fresh CAD program and designed these wheels. What that gave us was the ability to run 315s in the rear, 275s up front. 315s is the widest tire that you can run on a Mustang S550 chassis without going to a wide body kit. With doing these wheels, it gave us the proper offset. It gave us the, the back, the spacing in the back, spacing in the front. So we have no rub issues, but a very nice uniform fit all the way around. We top them off with Nitto MT555 G2s. And uh, this wheel is taken off of the original 1968 torque thrust wheel. Uh, we wanted to stay true to that torque thrust wheel, but we needed to have a design that, uh, that would work with the new body design. We're very happy with this. Uh, we do other things like on the front, we have the speed of front fascia. It increases down force and air intake. In the interior, this steering wheel is an Alicatera leather steering wheel. It's hand stitched by a, an artisan in Detroit that's been doing it for over 30 years. Uh, the stitching is Highland Green to match the interior stitching. The center stripe on that at the 12 o'clock position is green as well. On this, we have a rear seat delete. That rear seat delete allows us to put a four point uh, Watson roll cage in it, which is powder coated Highland Green to match the body. We call that McQueen Green. Another thing about this suspension, Everything that's normally powder coated, maybe a gray or a blue with Steeda, has been powder coated Highland Green. Under the hood, as you can see, the supercharger is the Highland Green. Uh, again, we call that McQueen Green to match the body. It, these are serialized cars. There's only going to be 300 of these produced nation, uh, actually worldwide, for each production year, for a total of 600. 
here in the front, you can see the aggressive front uh, fascia. That front fascia increases downforce and airflow for the increased uh, horsepower of the supercharger or even the uh, cold air intake of the naturally aspirated. So that's just a quick rundown. Uh, it's been a phenomenal project. It's writing itself into the history books now. Um, they are all registered with us. They are licensed to the McQueen Foundation and McQueen Racing. Chad McQueen has been involved with us since the beginning in designing this. So thanks for uh, taking a walk around with me. Hope uh, you guys found out more about this car. And uh, feel free to get a hold of us at Galpin. Uh, Galpin has been our partner since day one. Uh, on this build. They've been a fantastic partner and uh, we're happy to have them involved with us. By the look of this group of people, I would say there's a GT500 behind most that. Most definitely, right? It's funny, look, the GT has no one around it and then the GT500 has all the commotion. Whew. This thing is a showstopper. We're just gonna walk around this thing. Look at this carbon fiber spoiler. Carbon fiber wheels. Pay attention to the to the brake diameters. Look at this big brake. What is a big brake kit to a GT500? You shall be GT500. Available at Galpin Ford soon. I think we had a great show. Uh, it's the end of the day here at Fabulous Fords. Awesome turnout. We had a bunch of cars out here. The crowd was awesome. They all loved it. Uh, looking forward to next year. Good morning, guys. We're out here at Formula Drift. Von Ginn and RTR were kind enough to invite us out here. We have one of our cars, a Spec 2 RTR Mustang that we've done. It's going to be displayed at their booth. We're going to be out here all weekend long seeing these cars rip up the streets of Long Beach. Twenty Chelsea FD setup. That's man. it. That's it. <laughs> Formula yeah. Drift 2020. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this will be the rain. <laughs> when are you taking it out, Bob? I'm trying to talk him into it right now, actually. Dang, look at the little brake riders. <laughs> I love it. It's so good. I haven't even noticed that. This car though on the left is like my favorite. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, it is purple. There you go. It's a pizza wagon. It's all pretty red. <laughs> Like, this one's gonna get it, it has an LS sitting in it as well, but this one's gonna be close to $200,000. Um, really? Everything, the product, what you can do, I did put the suspension on, but it looks like it's What do you think of gas, bro? That's oh, pretty wild. A lot of sick projects going on. Shops clean. Like, uh, definitely got a handle on a lot of different things. <laughs> Oh, we're
we're about to do a burnout, we're gonna go ahead and just utilize the line lock here and uh, make some smoke for our people. Right, man, dog. You ready? And, uh, and then we'll see where it goes. Y'all ready for this? All right. 